Hey guys, so I wanted to do a follow-up review on these sick lacquers. Um, if you notice that my voice is different, um, I just have kind of like a cold thing going on. So, yeah, but I just wanted to do the follow-up of the longevity of the polishes. Um, but these ones, I've painted them on Monday. So, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday today. And here are my nails. They haven't chipped whatsoever. Um, so I thought I would just go ahead and do the video because normally, um, you should know about my nails. Um, they are very, very thin and they they peel a lot and they break easy and all that. So that's why they're never very long. And, um, that's why I'll say a lot of polishes chip for me. Um, I don't know. These ones just didn't yet, which is great. Um, I don't know if it's because of the formula or the glitter in them or something that causes them to not chip. Um, I did use a top coat, but they, so, um, I just used Color Club Clear Coat. Let's focus here. Do, do, do. And it's not even supposed to be a top coat. I just really like it because it's kind of like a gel effect. Like, it's super shiny and stuff. I don't wear that top coat to make my polishes last longer. I never really do anyway because it doesn't matter what polish it is. They all chip for me. This one has just, you know, minimal chipping of the tips. There's nothing... Um, terribly wrong with it. Just had minimal chipping like normal with every other polish that I wear. Um, I'm going to tell you every single polish chips on me. It just depends on the person and it also depends on uh, what top coat you use as well. But this isn't bad chipping at all. So these polishes were completely fine on the longevity. You could definitely wear these for a week and have a couple of chips, but that's just completely normal. You're never going to find a polish that's not going to chip um, unless you're wearing like acrylics just because they're, they're going to chip. It just depends on the strength of your nail and the product, the top coat product that you use, but they're completely fine. There's nothing wrong with them whatsoever. Again, the ones that she sent me um, are Green Goblin do, 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 and Berries and Cream, um, which is the one I'm wearing currently, and I love these. So, um, I did a review on all the pricing information with swatches and stuff in that video. Sorry, my camera's not focused. Um, and I'll link that down below as well as my blog post that I did for it, which is just a little bit more information and some more pictures for you guys if you're interested. I really love this brand. Definitely give them a try. They are indie polishes, three free and very affordable. Um, they range from three fifty to seven dollars um, because there's two different sizes. Um, but you can find all of that information in my first impressions video, which will be linked down below, and then as well as my blog will all be linked down below. All my links, her links, um, and yes, it's a really great product, um, really great brand, great brand. She's on Etsy. Peggy is so so nice to work with, and I can't wait to continue working with her. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up and give me any feedback in the comments down below. Bye guys.